what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we're here back in sweden got an interesting one here in front of the channel street talks uh why swedes hate and like these countries so we're gonna see we're gonna put the the link in the description for the channel street talk so we can check that out i'll check out their channel always good to get on the streets and hear people's opinions on certain things you know so but Swedes, what do you what what countries do you hate and like always interesting in the united states is supposed to be oh, some probably. kind of super hey we already starting out with the u.s in the united <laughs> states is supposed to be some kind of superior uh country and they have so much power over the world and they use it on in so weird and stupid ways the culture is great, people are very lying. polite. Which country in the world do you like the most besides Sweden? Uh, hard question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know actually. It is. It uh, I've been a lot to Spain when I was smaller, uh, but I don't know which one I would like the most. But yeah, maybe like Spain. I like it warm and I like to swim and yeah, I like. Uh, the language as well, so... Yeah. Japan. Um, yeah. Det är kulturen som lockar och... Uh, okay. Ja, mat och musik och serier från Japan. Some anime? <laughs> Nej, jag vill jättegärna åka dit. <laughs> I think I like uh, Denmark. Denmark? Why? Okay, Denmark. Because it's a nice country. Uh, nice people. Uh, uh, I like Danish people. Um, yeah. I like okay. uh, Copenhagen. I don't know if it's in this kind of context, but I mean, I would say a country in Southern Europe, perhaps Spain. Okay. I just think that the way the standards of their living, it, it feels pretty okay and decent down there. That's a hard one. I ain't gonna lie. Like he said, this is a hard question, especially if you haven't been nowhere or if you just look and see a lot of different things. Cause I know for me growing up, staying in a certain city, a lot of people like, oh, I need to get out the city. I don't like blah, blah, blah. But then you go to the next city. It's somebody there that's saying, oh, I need to get out the city. So it's like you just find what fits you type of thing. It's easier know. to say which country I don't like. Is there any country you would like to visit? Yeah. Uh, Japan would be nice because Man. I like to see a completely different culture. I don't know, because uh, even though I like a lot of countries, like Greece is an amazing country, Greece? I still see so many holes in society and so many people that in almost every country that's just like left to the, I, I don't know. Uh, so I, I don't think I can answer that, because even though there are a lot of amazing countries and places I would like to visit, I don't really see a place where there is like perfection, some kind of utopia. I know that oh, doesn't yeah. exist, but yeah, I can answer does. something. That's she does got a point. I think it's just personal preference, but she does got a point. I don't think no country out there just a utopia, but you know, it can be your personal utopia. It's better than what you were at. Cause I, I mean, I see videos all the time on like TikTok, Instagram. And they're at these beaches or these places, and it look unbelievable. But you know, it's a video, but you don't know how how it'll make you feel until you're there. It's just nice to be, because we when you're there, you still see all these people living in total misery and stuff, mm, yeah, and it's cool. hard to enjoy totally if there's so much sad things. Yeah. Oh, I have to say, like uh, Japan. <laughs> sure. The culture okay, is great, Japan. people are very polite. The economy is also thriving. There's a lot of things, obviously, that's bad about every country. But if I were to move literally anywhere, it would be to Japan because everything's Japan. just so polite, beautiful, and the Everybody culture like is Japan. thriving. Well, uh, I uh, very much like Denmark. Actually, okay, this Denmark? part of Sweden See, was uh, part of Denmark before the Swedes invaded it and, uh, and uh, crushed uh, the Denmark. Uh, Danish population here. Why do you like Denmark? Where is well, it's what part of Sweden is he at? Is he more in the southern so, part of Sweden? Then? It's Danish population here. Why do you like Denmark? Well, it's uh, it's close to uh, uh, close to the culture here in in Skåne where I live. Uh, and oh, uh, yeah, we the Danish they like 
good food, good drinks, and uh, the good things in life. And uh, I'm okay. a person like that. That's a difficult question. <laughs> okay. um, so I love living in London, but maybe but the UK is not my favourite country. <laughs> um, yeah, that's specific to London that I like. Um, I really like Spain. I like Barcelona. Spain. Um, that's, that's three for Spain. I really like Brazil. Maybe Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. It's just really beautiful. It's very diverse. Um, I ain't gonna. I do like. I do like the tropical countries. You know those countries like like a Brazil. Like, Anywhere with a beach, a nice beach would be nice, but maybe that's just that's just what I think of retirement. Um, you know, lots of diversity beach. of food, um, and in the south, uh, or in different areas, the weather's really nice. I would say Germany, but that is because of very personal reasons, mostly because of their alternative culture, okay, Germany. and them being very open to the things I like, but. Politically, I don't really have an opinion on what country. I like Germany because of basically the vibe of Germany with, uh, okay. well, basically everything. They have some of the largest alternative festivals in all of the world. And on I ain't gonna lie, he looked like he could have been a part of the group that was in Germany Eurovision. Mostly I too. like the food and I want to learn the language, so <laughs> yeah, Germany. Which country do you not like? Uh-oh. Oh boy, uh... U.S. If I'm going to be completely honest... I'm gonna... I'm going to say U.S. going to have at least four or five, four or five. Honest, I think North Korea is a beautiful country, but it's the government. It's the government. Oh, Obviously, that's a first. they don't treat the people right. People don't have opinions. And I hope in the near future they'll be liberated. I think uh, America and Russia. OK, America what? and Russia. Because uh, just because no they are who they are. Like, yeah, obviously Russia, also China, authoritarian mm. countries. I don't like, like those. Uh, with, I mean, countries that are taking a big, big leap from like a liberal society and more to, to an authoritarian country. Uh, I would say that those are the countries I don't feel that good of. And I would, I mean, that's also like, Take the United States China. of America, for example. <laughs> they're saying that they are the land of the free. I don't know if they're so free, actually. Uh, That's too cool, I but, and also, of course, yeah, no, big countries that are just bullying other countries. And that is Russia, China, and also, yeah, like I said, United States in, in some matter, even though they yeah. often like to put theirself in on a big pedestal and think that they're better but i don't know if there are right now right. which is interesting because the states can't say uh, the united states have been sending money to ukraine during this time but like you said it's still some things here it's just mm -mm, off the wall sure. <laughs> and think still that off they're the wall, better yeah. but i don't know if there are Right now, Russia. Russia. <laughs> why? Like everybody gonna say Russia. You know why? I don't like Putin. <laughs> I would say uh, the United States, because even though there are a lot of uh, worse countries on one way, like uh, things happening in uh, Iran, yes, um, and that's absolutely horrible. Um, I see the United States is supposed to be some kind of superior. Uh, country and they have so much power over the world and they use it on in so weird and stupid ways and the way that they See, treat nine. their people and they treat the rest of the world I think that um, shows other countries how ah, well, well it works for them that we can do it as well and they do like secret operations in other yeah, I think other countries better be careful trying to follow the United States way because the United States, we just, they just care about money. They just care about money here. So I think other countries, other countries I can say, especially mostly in Europe, I can't speak everywhere else because I haven't, I have been trying to learn, you know, different countries in Africa, Asia, and South America. But I can say for sure in Europe, they care about the people. You know, they put their people first over money. Uh, countries that doesn't have it have as good society as they have, and uh, as much money, and they 
do war crimes. Yeah. And I, I don't know, I think it's just so fucked up how people put them on a some kind of pedestal and don't just look the other way when they do stupid things. Well, that's a harder question. Um, Russia? It's a lot of countries that I find some things very nice about and some things very stupid about. So, like, I think the whole... I'm pretty left, so I think the whole, like, capitalist thing from USA and what they have created, mm -hmm. I think... I, it's, I can't really say, I can't say that it's my least favorite country. Uh, mm, I guess do I need to have one? <laughs> no, I don't have one then. <laughs> well, I know the most about the UK, so I'm probably the most critical and aware of what's going on. And I think what's going on in the UK government at the moment, there's like loads of corruption. Um, oh. People are really suffering. There's really high levels of poverty. So I'm going to stick with what I know and say the UK. That's a way more spicy and political one because I would have to say China or North Korea. China. Okay. <laughs> Probably China because they're way bigger population-wise. North yeah. Korea. I ain't gonna lie. US sometimes I feel like it's certain things. It's not the worst, but there's certain things that can, you know, put an X on the list for them. But. I'm not gonna lie. I agree with all of them. One of the ones that said like China and North Korea. I think just because the history I know about the countries and it's like, I ain't gonna lie. It, it seems horrible. It seems horrible. Didn't hear. I can't say that. I feel like I don't know. Maybe I need to dig deep. But I, just from what I know, I don't think. Yeah, I know we. I don't know we supposedly the land of the free, home of the brave. Which freedom? Freedom comes at a price. But over there, I feel. Eh. Yeah, that's another Korea subject. Korea is, without a doubt, more suppressed than China, but China has a way bigger yeah. population that is being oppressed, and the governments are completely fucking over the people <laughs> in many different ways, and especially now with the like uh, spy balloon drone incident. And them saying they want it that. back, even though the Americans have already been in contact with them a lot about it, but they just try to twist it. Mm. Like the Chinese government always try to twist things for their winning and never for the people or the world's winning. It just, yeah, yeah, communistic and exploitative. The Street Talk channel is a small team of content creators from all around the world, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in the description to enjoy our Patreon and to receive inclusive. Yeah, this was good. This was good. I like this street talk. I'm gonna have to subscribe because this this was a good yet difficult question. Not gonna lie, this is a difficult question because, like I said, I haven't been to many countries. Shoot, I haven't been to no other country outside of the U.S. So it's like what I see. That's what excites me. That's why I'm like, oh, not doing that, or oh, I want to do that because. Even though you haven't been, once you see it, if you put it in front of you, then that's how you start gaining that interest. I feel like that's what happened to me with a couple of countries for my goal to visit. But uh, as an American, I want to express my admiration and appreciation to the Swedes. I haven't visited Sweden, but I've been a fan of culture of many years and now really enjoy all the Swedish people I met over the years. No hard feelings about the comments about the U.S. We have our faults, but I think a lot of Americans are weird to learn from the mistakes that's what I'm thinking. I think I think when it comes to the US, it's really the government. It's the government stuff. That's what it is for sure, mostly. Uh other than that, it's not as bad. Yeah, we got guns, yeah, we get you know, it's some horrible things that do happen. But it's it's not bad, bad. There are some bad things that happen that should not be. But uh learning about Brazil, I do however I hate corruption. Uh, inequality and nature beyond destroyed being destroyed uh, like women wearing the <laughs> she moves to Japan because they're polite <laughs> she uh, wants to move to P Japan because they're polite she in for a shock no doubt yeah that stands out yeah I think certain places we like until you know especially you, once you get there that really gonna tell it all I always believe once you get there once you make it there that's what's really going to tell it all for you. You know, I see places and and I look like, yeah, I can live here. I can live here because I have some top places I wouldn't mind living, retiring in. I know Australia is one of them. Um, Portugal, probably the second. 
like this is like retirement i want to visit a lot of places but those are the two i look like it look like i can retire in and live forever for the rest of my life rest of my days but that's all i have for this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below y'all hit that subscribe button and y'all be blessed be the best and be you i'm out